Well, it finally happened. YouTube is being sued by a YouTube creator over the adpocalypse. Honestly, I'm surprised this hasn't happened sooner. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know here for you on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm Charlotte Dobre. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the adpocalypse, here's some backstory. As you should probably know by now, YouTubers make money from ads that appear before the videos. A lot of people depend on YouTube money for income. This past March, huge brands like Starbucks and Pepsi pulled their ads after they found them appearing before extremist videos, like that of the KKK or people claiming to be ISIS. This lost YouTube a ton of money, and it resulted in a crackdown on extremist content. And they also gave more control to advertisers so they could pick which videos they wanted their ads to appear before. Problem is, videos were getting demonetized that shouldn't have. Something as silly as having dead in the title made it so a video would be automatically demonetized, even if the video had nothing to do with death or showed anything that wasn't advertiser friendly. Hence why Michael McCredden changed his channel from before they were dead to before they were gone. This, my friends, was known as the adpocalypse, and YouTubers were really feeling the pinch. Now, a pair of content creators, James Sweet and Chuck Mir, who run the channel Zombie Go Boom, are suing YouTube. Their videos show weapons being tested on dummies that have been made to look like zombies. Look, okay, it's not exactly something that five year olds should watch, but it's not like they're the KKK or ISIS. They're just blowing up some zombies. They lost 90% of their revenue, going from making almost $500 a day to between $20 and $40 a day. When YouTube released a statement about the adpocalypse, they said, where the focal point is on blood, violence or injury, when presented without additional context, is not eligible for advertising. Now James and Chuck are suing for breach of contract. The lawsuit states that YouTube has a duty to disclose with detailed specificity and complete transparency the terms by which content is selected or deselected for monetization. Failure to do so is harmful to the creative content market and also a breach of good faith and fair dealing. James and Chuck are hoping more YouTubers jump on the bandwagon as plaintiffs. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if more did. That is all for now. Thanks for watching IO.